Hi viewers, in this episode we take a tour to look into our collection of a traditional house type of the Garo community that comes from the state of Meghalaya, one of the northeastern states of India. Meghalaya is literally translated as the land with the abode of clouds. This hilly region is inhabited by three major tribes, the Garo, the Ghasi and the Jayantia, who have a matrilineal form of society. The Garos are one of the three native tribes of Meghalaya. They are also sporadically distributed in Assam, Tripura, Nagaland and some areas of Bangladesh. The name Garo has been given to them by the neighboring people, a very well-known tribe for their matrilineal tradition in which the family members take their clan titles from their mother. Traditionally, the youngest daughter, Nokmechik, inherits the property of the mother. Sons leave the parents' house at puberty and are trained in the village dormitory, Nokpante. After getting married, the man lives in his wife's house. Garo's are now the second largest tribe in the state and comprised one-third of the local population. When we look at the habitat and settlement pattern of the Garo villages, one may find sparsely arranged bamboo-dominated house types raised on stilts of bamboo and wooden poles having nicely trimmed thatch structures along the ridges of hill slopes. Traditionally, three types of houses could be seen among the Garos, classified on the basis of their livelihood patterns and socio-economic liabilities. These are Nokmong, a common living house, Nokpante, boys dormitory, and Borang. It may be a field house, a tree house, or a watch tower. Nokmong is a house where every Achik, the family members, stays together. The house has the provision for sleeping, hearth, sanitary arrangement, kitchen, water storage, fermenting wine, a place for cattle shed or stall feeding the cow, pigsty, hand coop, and other enclosures for stacking firewood. These neatly arranged space of the house perhaps is why the Garo matrilineal family appears to be well organized in their domestic activities. The house is typically erected through a stilted bamboo structure and local wood along the hill slope to obtain a plain platform above the ground. The top of this bamboo platform is adequately covered with matted bamboo floor and used as a living space. There are three extensions on the floor plan, two along the sides while one at the rear end. The left extension is used for multiple activities like spending laser, preparing baskets, drying sliced tubers, meats, chilies, etc. While the right extension is primarily meant for washing utensils, clothes and other auxiliary domestic activities. The front space of the house touches the ground and it occupies a space for domestication of animals. Traditionally, the most valued breed of either pig, cow or a bull is kept reserved in this enclosure as the family's wealth. A massive circular log of about one and a half feet rested vertically on the ground is marked the entrance of the house. The entrance has a sliding door prepared from a bamboo splitted mat hanging on a sliding frame of a bamboo tube. The central hall being the most important room is comparatively bigger and locally known as Dongrama or a living room. This big hall also has a central fireplace called Ongar raised on a mud plinth. The hanging platform 
of bamboo in layers is placed above this fireplace to stack food items and baskets for more prolonged use. Garo house has a kitchen inside and a wall that separates the rear extension is a place of domestic deity. The important results of domestic affairs are conducted in this space of the house. The ritual items and other symbolic paraphernalia associated with the worship of the domestic deity could be seen on this wall. Two or three outwardly extended pile structure from the side of the house has multifunctional importance. It is a raised platform sometimes used to spend leisure and drying grains and other kinds of household utilities. The right side extension is specially meant for the guests who visit them. The museum visitors complement this house type exhibited in the open air exhibition premises of the museum as the house with a nice haircut. This is because of its attractive nature of nicely trimmed thatched roof structure. With the changing time, the modern livelihood has gradually started to enter into the traditional way of living. The versatile bamboo dominated vernacular architecture of the Garo tribe is now transforming to tune with the modern way of living. It becomes scarce and could only be a in the remote village of the Garo habitat in Meghalaya. The IGRMS preserves this community exhibited traditional house type in its open air exhibition and disseminates the glorious culture of the tribe to the masses. Dear viewers, that's all for today. We will bring another exhibition in the next episode. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you.